I'm a big fan of this uh, Wolfram Physics Project and the Wolfram Bottle. And um, like, in a sense, like if you if you are into that, like you kind of realize that like like everything around us is alien in some sense. Yeah, like they're all alien. Like you know, bugs, plants, animals, they're all alien intelligence, right? And it like, are we talking like you know we co-evolved on this planet? Um, but they are alien to us. Like you know, you can't easily communicate with uh, whales and stuff. Although there are projects down in school using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Um, so you know, like that 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 could be on the horizon. But I think it probably will be on the horizon. It just might be a little bit uh, leaky to start with. Um, but like, yeah, yeah, there are aliens all around us. Um, whether or not there are things from other planets or other areas that are, are evolved in those areas that have come over to check us out or anything else, I, I don't know. I like that there's um, random sort of, or not random tangent, but like slightly tangential is. Um, I like these theories of people who are like, oh, we won't get accepted into the galactic star fleet until we prove that we can manage, like, be kind and caring to all of the living species on this planet, or uh, until we prove that we could, like, you know, not be a fucking clown show with our governments <laughs> and all this other stuff. Or um, once we develop a certain level of technology, we'll be, we'll, we'll be contacted by the, uh, the Federation. And they'll come down and accept us into the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, like it's not Starship Enterprise, uh, the, into the Galactic Federation, right? Um, so I kind of like that's kind of fun to think about sometimes as well. But like, like there is all this other stuff out there. And we're sort of like, we're in this little um, ignorance bubble at the moment. And once we develop a certain level of knowledge and, and um, technology, that then we'll be like, the, the curtain will be pulled back and it'll be like, oh shit, this was everywhere. We never even saw it. I agree. And you made a good point. Like, there's aliens all around us. I think that's true because there's been many asteroid or comets that have crashed into Earth that have brought, for sure, other types of you know matter or bacteria. They even hypothesized that a majority of the water that's on Earth came from outer space as well. So. Right. Right. Everything on Earth came from outer space. Both of them. We live in outer space. Right, right, right. But you know what I mean? <laughs> but I, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> we yeah. are in outer space, homie. Like, yeah, we, just, that's yeah, true. We just we forget are in about outer space. That. Yeah, it's a great we point. We just forget about it. But like, uh, like, you know, another crazy thing is the only reason sort of, you know, we can exist the way that we exist, the way that we evolved is because a star blew up. And, um, you know, transmuted the hydrogen and the rest of it into the different um elements that that make us up you know that that, that co-mingle and and uh interact to produce all of this diversity you know like um without that like we are stardust that's just a crazy thing like it like we really are like we wouldn't be possible without a star blowing up 